Now uh, it's time for Maddie's MySpace, uh, brought to us by uh, Zertec. Got a nasty rash. Get Zertec. Works for you, Hindy. Uh, now this one is from Seven. Nolan uh, Helensburg, Neil Pincinelli Territory. Uh, Paul, thank you for your contribution to the Dragons of the Mighty Steelers. Do, have you got the desire to go back into coaching? Yes, definitely. Yep. Um, I just want to reset, refresh and reboot a little bit. Mm. Uh, take some time, and but yeah, for sure. Well, you see a lot of coaches, Mary. You know, people like Johnny Lang, Tim Shoons are an example. Mate, uh, the late Gray Murray, your great mate, always were better the second time around. Yeah, I, I think you've got to enjoy that responsibility around leadership. Yeah. And you've got to really create an environment where your work ethic's good, your discipline's yeah. good. Mate, what, what's it very like, satisfying. What's it like, Mary? Because it's easy for... for from our perspective, pictures, yeah. yeah, sorry, Mary. <laughs> it's easy for us from the outside in. We look and go, oh, geez, you know, Ricky's getting a bit fired up, or you know, this coach looks stressed. What's it like when the pressure intensifies and your head's in the furnace? You know what? You don't really think about too much except what you need to do next. Yeah, right. And you stay focused in the moment. That's the biggest thing. That, like, I think it's more scrutiny from the outside than it actually is on the inside. You're pretty relaxed on the inside because you trust trust what's happening and the system's in place and the process of the week. And and you, as long as you're, uh, you, you're making sure the players are right, yeah. that's the most important thing. Yeah. Um, for a coach, um, unfortunately, you've got you know, you to live and die by the results. Is it hard not to take things personally? Like, you know, someone might say, you know, yeah, for instance, geez, I heard, hear what Phil Gould said about you or hear what, you know, Matty Johns or Paul Kent said about you. Is it hard to sort of let that stuff go? No, I don't watch too much of the shows. Yeah. Um, and Except was, for this one. Yeah, of course. You love this one. Yeah. Um, but um, really, I, I, I don't really take criticism off someone I don't get advice from. So if yeah. they're a person that's criticised me I get advice from, well, then I've got a problem. Yeah. Because yeah. I've got to take note. But generally, if um, someone's criticised me, yeah. it's not... Hey, Mary, is there, a, is there a team now, hypothetical question here, what NRL team would you like to coach at the moment? If you could pick one team. Uh, I think Penrith have got it right. Penrith. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the the, the youngness, um, the depth, mm. the system they've got in place. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to be good for a while. Right. Mary, this one, uh, James in Campbelltown. What was your most satisfying moment as a coach? Uh, I really liked the, the, the Anzac Day games. Yep. They were special. There was a lot of respect shown. There was a lot of motion play out in the field. In 15, uh, in 2015, it, it bucketed down. We actually left the field, it's had time in the shed, come oh, yeah. back out, and really, like, uh, we won the game that, and we were leading the competition at that time, and um, the boys just kept fine and being committed. You know, that was one that really... Th that day is special every year. Yeah. Uh, and that was a really good one there because um, the circumstances, I don't think it's happened before, so... Tyson Darwin said uh, he's got here your three most memorable players. I suppose players you enjoyed coaching. Uh, Lisa Narmel. Yeah. Front rower. Yep. Old fashionable but fearless. Mm -hmm. um, consistent and a non-complainer. Didn't complain about anything, just got the job done regularly. Is there many of those? <laughs> Not many, mate, no. Uh, he was certainly a person that um, I, I, I coached in reserve grade. He, he, he got our player of the year. Whether you start him off the interchange or, or in the front row, n nothing. He wouldn't worry. He'd just get his job done. Get his 150 metres, get his 30-plus get his tackles and, and no, have no errors involved. Low maintenance. Low maintenance. Yeah. Um, the other one, Cam McGuinness, uh, oh, he's yeah. just a warrior. Um, you know, he's, he's a professional. Um, he just doesn't know when to quit. There's no quitting. Uh, he's a person that is, is just, a, just a person that leads well. How, how did he take that when you moved him from, from 9 to 13? Was it his Whatever idea? Whatever was needed. Yeah. Yeah, right. Whatever was needed. Yeah. And, and it was just for the team. Whatever's needed, coach. You just tell me what to do, I'll do it. Do you know, Mary, what, that, what a great moment for you there. Because a lot of times when things are going bad, it's player driven. But that shows you, like, you know, the love the players had for you yeah. in the most difficult time. Yeah, that's one of the most enjoyable nights mm. I've had in the game, you know, yeah. um, even as a player, as a coach. Um, yeah. I sat on the sideline for the first time, and the players had wanted me to do it for a little while, but I've never actually sat on the sideline. Yeah. So that was a different look. Yeah. And you're a lot more relaxed down there because you can't coach from there because you can't see too much. You just yeah. sort of see the, the emotions of guys coming on and off. and. Yeah and the contact and the physicality of the game. Um, 
but yeah, after the, in the shed, the few words that were said by different players and, and staff was really, really nice. Yeah. Hey, just, uh, you, you coach Benji. We've got a situation at the moment where Tigers have told Benji, listen, mate, it's, you're not going to be here next year. Benji's sort of getting to that. Benji's saying, mate, I'm keen to go again. Um, what would your advice be to Benji? Has he got another year in him, do you think? Well, I've, I've coached Bags. Um, in 15, he was, he was, I think he ran third in the Daly and Player of the Year that year, and we played finals footy, and he was really instrumental on, on how well we went. Um, 16, we didn't go as good, and he moved on. And he's, you know, he's, he's had two clubs in Brisbane and, and, and back to West Tigers. I reckon for Benji, it's trust the gut. Only he'll know. Mm. Like, everyone will give you advice, but... Mm. But you need to know because you're experienced enough and yeah. if your guts feel like you need to go around and the head and the heart goes with it, go around again. His legacy will be left regardless yeah, if he plays regardless. another year or, yeah. or goes out this year. What about Ben Hunt? Um, there was talks of him going back to the Broncos. St George Illawarra have come out and said, no, there's nothing in that. But you know in rugby league that doesn't mean anything. You know, people saying there's nothing in it. The, the Tom Toms are always beating when you smoke a bit of fire going on. Do, what would your advice be to Ben? You know, would you do you see him going back if the opportunity was there back to the Broncos? I don't yeah. at the moment. I think um, well, he signed a long-term contract. Mm. He's very comfortable where he's living. Um, but you know, Brisbane is home. That's that's where he spent most of his footy. Um, you know, the, the best advice we would give Ben is, is just be a footballer, not a positional player, because there's so much talk about him playing nine, playing seven. The things weigh on him, ben, uh, Mary. It seems like a bloke. He who, cares, mate. Yeah, yeah. He cares, and and, and he, he competes hard, and he feels if he doesn't, we don't get the result. He feels being a part of that is his responsibility. Um, but at the moment, it's really caught up whether he's nine, whether he's seven. You know what? He's a footballer, so don't worry about what position. Yeah. Um, just worry about where you're needed. It's, play. It's, it's a tough position to play if you're a sensitive soul. A lot of times, the best half backs have got a bit of. Sociopath in them. <laughs> like, there's no conscience, you know, they just go and do. They handle the responsibility. Amnesia? Amnesia, exactly, exactly. Uh, this one, uh, me on an Al Albury said, uh, Paul, you were captain of St George Illawarra. On that day when I was in the stands in front of 110,000 people, it was the worst moment in your career as a player when Bill Harrigan awarded the Storm that penalty try that day? Yeah, it was a poor, it was, uh, uh, the memory is still <laughs> pretty fresh. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the feelings, you know, after that, um, yeah, it feels like yesterday, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Sorry to do this to you. No, no, no. <laughs> it, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You know, it's... We should not... It shouldn't have got to that. Like, we were in front comfortably. We were leading 14-0 yeah. at it. And, yeah. and um, you know, that day a lot of people were emotional because there was a lot of retirements happening after that game. There was the merger of two clubs and the first year, and we were nine million on a four and a half million salary cap. So the year after that, we had to bring it right back under. So there was a lot of guys that didn't play the following year. So the emotion around that as well, and the retirement, you know, blokes like Rod Wishart, Brad Mackay, Mark Coyne, mm. myself were finished in that year. So um, that going on with the loss it yeah. wasn't, wasn't great, mate. Just on, just on bad memories again, Mary, did you remember that time back in 2000 where I out-sprinted you to score a try? Yeah, I do. Do you remember that? We, yeah. I think we have vision. Mate, of I was 35. Here we go, look at this. Look at me go. I would say this is yeah. the lowest I was memory. 35 and I've taken over Baz. What's yeah. he think? I was going to say, <laughs> come on. Get there, yes. Making oh, you work for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do remember. I thought you might bring that it's up. It's comforting to know the worst moment of your life. <laughs> it's, it's already happened. <laughs> well, no, that no, was out of Powerful salmon. That was, that was out of dummy half. That. Look at you putting in the big ones, Mary. Get me. Ah, just... Oh. God. Just don't give me too much room. Yeah. I'll just go. Nathan, yeah, you were um, quite quick, actually. For well, he, you think he was quick? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't consider myself How old were you that, that fast. 2000? 21? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Explains a bit. Sorry, Mary. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to have a second guess? 20. No, you're right. Okay. 20 still. <laughs> so I wasn't that fast, Mary, but uh, on this special day in the Chauveau Sh Shield, this is what I did oh. to him. Uh, we've got vision of this. Oh. This is Nathan and I running at the football stadium because we had is a that challenge. Nathan or Stan Jurd? And, <laughs> and I let him get away. I let him get away. He's well, cruising. Yeah, I just give up here. Look. No, you don't. But look what's happened. You keep I'm looking. I'm jogging. Yeah, and then I win, right? So, <laughs> but I end up winning. And have a look at crybaby Nathan straight after. Um, this, good is, this, is, this, is, this is it after the... <laughs> that's him after I beat him. Just crying. Uh, like a little sook. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. a little baby sister. <laughs> now, boys, uh, 